Hello and welcome to the next video in the What Is series. In this particular video, we are going to be looking at Bower, the front end package manager. So, what is Bower? Uh, well, Bower is a package manager for front end code, whether it's HTML, CSS, JavaScript, fonts, images, uh, it doesn't really care. It concatenates, it does not concatenate or minify anything else, it just installs the proper versions that you need in their dependencies. So how we use it is at the end of our NPM install, when you're installing the framework, we tell it as a post install to go do a Bower install afterwards, which tells us to install all of our front end dependencies, which is something like Angular, jQuery, um, any of the other ones out there, whether it's the routes or the resources, it will install all the front end dependencies for us. So let's go take a look at how it does that and what tells it to do that. So as you see now, we're over in Sublime and there's a couple places I wanna take, uh, take you to. The first is bower.json. This is kind of the blueprint, much like we use package.json for the back end, well, for Node, this is how we use the bower.json for the front end. And this is our blueprint. And so currently we have Angular 158 and majority of the other Angular content we use at 158. We have some jQuery, we have some Lodash. And this is where we declare everything that we want. So where does this end up? Once you put this here and you hit a Bower install, where does this end up? Well, this ends up in the client folder under Bower components. But before I go in and, well, I might as well actually go look at it. And you'll see here are all the folders, you can come and look and you can see all of the content and everything that we need to use. Well, how does it get there? What tells it to go there of all places? Well, you'll see inside our folder structure, a .bowerrc file. If you go click on that, you'll see that it says what directory to place the Bower components at. Currently, it is client underscore Bower components. So that is how it gets it there. Now, you'll also see there's an interactive. That's in case you need to resolve an issue. If you say true, it will ask you up front. If not, like we have, it says false, it will revert back and check with resolutions, which we have down here in the Bower JSON file. So overall, Bower is very powerful for us, especially with front-end dependencies, and it makes our lives a lot easier. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you have any questions, feel free to find us on social media or reach out via the channel and leave a comment.